When stopped at a red traffic light with a green arrow, you may proceed in the direction of the arrow if you a. First come to a complete stop. b. Wait until the light changes. c. Are in the proper lane and the intersection is clear. c. Are in the proper lane and the intersection is clear. You may proceed in the direction that a green arrow signal is pointing if you are in the proper lane, regardless of any other signals that are displayed. Before turning, you must yield the right of way to pedestrians and vehicles already within the intersection. This sign means A. A left curve is ahead. B. A series of curves is ahead. C. An S curve is ahead. D. The road will be slippery when wet. D. The road will be slippery when wet. This sign warns that especially slippery conditions exist when the road is wet. A speed limit is a. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under dangerous conditions. b. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. c. The suggested speed to travel on a road under ideal conditions. D. None of the above. B. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. A speed limit is the maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed, but it is illegal to drive any faster. You must drive more slowly where signs or signs indicate a school zone or work zone speed limit. If conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe, drive under the speed limit. When completing an emergency roadside stop, it is not necessary to put on your parking brake. A. True. B. False. B. False. Set your parking brake when making an emergency roadside stop. Turn on your emergency flashers to alert other drivers to your presence. Want to ace you DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. How do you check your blind spots? A. By looking in your side mirrors. B. By turning your head and looking over your shoulders. C. By looking in your rearview mirror. D. By staring straight ahead. B. By turning your head and looking over your shoulders. Blind spots are areas around your vehicle that you cannot see by using your mirrors. Check your blind spots by turning your head and glancing over your shoulders. This sign means A. Slippery when wet. B. Watch for drunk drivers. C. Dangerous curve ahead. D. Bump in the road ahead. A. Slippery when wet. Warning signs are usually diamond shaped with black markings on a yellow background. They alert drivers to upcoming hazards. This sign warns drivers to be extra careful when the pavement is wet because the road may become slippery, making vehicles more difficult to control. Where may drivers make a U-turn? A. On a freeway. B. Near the top of a hill. C. In the middle of a curve. D. Where they will not disrupt traffic. D. Where they will not disrupt traffic. A U-turn is a 180-degree turn that resembles the shape of the letter U and reverses your direction of travel. You may not make a U-turn unless you can do so safely and without disrupting other traffic. Distracted drivers are at a greater risk of a crash when they are using which of the following? A. CD player. B. Radio. C. Cell phone. D. All of the above. 
D. All of the above. Using a cell phone including a hands-free phone or any kind of audio device including a radio or CD player can be a dangerous distraction and contributes to the risk of a crash. This sign is a warning that you are approaching a. An intersection b. A crosswalk c. A railroad crossing c. A railroad crossing. A round sign means you are approaching a railroad crossing. This sign is posted a few hundred feet in front of the tracks and tells drivers to slow down, look, listen, and prepare to stop. At a crosswalk? A. You must yield to pedestrians. B. Pedestrians must yield to you. C. Construction workers must yield to you. A. You must yield to pedestrians. Pedestrians have the right of way at street crossings but must obey traffic control signals. Where a traffic signal is not present, vehicles must stop for pedestrians in a crosswalk, whether it is marked or unmarked. What is the only medically proven method of removing alcohol or other drug combinations from your system? A. Breathe in some fresh air. B. Give your body time. C. Drink coffee. B. Give your body time. Alcohol takes effect quickly and is slow to leave your system. Cold showers, black coffee, and exercise will do nothing to reduce a person's blood alcohol content. BAC. The only way to lower your BAC is to wait. This sign means A. Two-way traffic B. Change in direction ahead C. School zone and crossing A. Two-way traffic This sign informs drivers that they are leaving a divided roadway and approaching a two-way highway. When driving in fog, you should use your low beam headlights? A. True. B. False. A. True. You should always use your low beam headlights when driving in fog. High beam headlights may cause the light to reflect off of the fog and into your eyes. Who must yield when a driver is turning and a pedestrian is crossing without a traffic light? A. Whoever started moving last. B. The driver. C. Whoever is slower. D. The pedestrian. B. The driver. Drivers must yield to pedestrians when they are crossing at any intersection without a traffic light, whether or not there is a crosswalk. If high-intensity activated crosswalk lights are black, it means A. Drivers may proceed with caution. B. Drivers should slow down and prepare to stop. C. Drivers should come to a complete stop. D. There are no pedestrians nearby. A. Drivers may proceed with caution. Hawk signals are used at pedestrian crossings. If the lights on the signal turn black, drivers should proceed past the crosswalk with caution. How fast you drive does not affect the distance your vehicle travels after you brake to come to a stop. A. True. B. False. B. False. When driving in high-speed traffic, it is extremely important to stay well behind the vehicle in front of you. As your speed increases, the distance it will take for your vehicle to stop also increases. This road sign means A. Road construction ahead. B. The road ahead curves left, then right. C. The road ahead curves right, then left. D. Steep grade ahead. 
C. The road ahead curves right, then left. This sign indicates that the road ahead curves to the right and then to the left. You should slow down to be able to negotiate these curves safely. You pass by driving on the right shoulder of the road? A. When there are no pedestrians nearby. B. When the car in front of you is driving too slowly. C. When the car in front of you is turning. D. Under no circumstances. D. Under no circumstances. If you pass on the right, do so only when conditions permit you to do so safely. Under no circumstances are you allowed to drive off the pavement or onto the shoulder to pass another vehicle. A slow-moving vehicle emblem is A. A rectangular red sign. B. A circular green sign. C. A diamond-shaped yellow sign. D. A triangular orange sign. D. A triangular orange sign. The slow moving vehicle symbol is a reflective orange triangle. Expect vehicles using this emblem to be driving at speeds of 25 miles per hour or slower. Which of the following statements is true? A. It is okay for drivers of other vehicles to follow motorcycles closely. B. A motorcycle with two people on it is more balanced than a motorcycle with just one rider. C. The driver of a passenger vehicle must change lanes completely when passing a motorcycle. D. Drivers of other vehicles can expect a motorcycle's brake lights to turn on when the motorcyclist slows down. C. The driver of a passenger vehicle must change lanes completely when passing a motorcycle. Motorcycles are entitled to the width of a full lane. Be sure your vehicle is entirely in the left lane before attempting to pass a motorcycle on the left. If your turn signals fail, you should use fill in the blank to indicate that you are turning. A. Your horn. B. Your headlights. C. Hand signals. D. Your emergency flashers. C. Hand signals. If your vehicle's turn signals do not work, you should use hand signals to indicate when you intend to change direction. If you are driving near a large commercial vehicle, you should A. Follow the large vehicle closely to reduce wind drag on your vehicle. B. Avoid driving beside it for long stretches of time. C. Drive on its right side when on curves and hills. This sign means A. Slippery when wet. B. Stop sign ahead. C. No U-turn. A. Slippery when wet. All roads are slippery and dangerous when wet. This sign warns of conditions that can cause a driver to lose control of a car. A driver should slow down when coming upon wet pavement because it takes longer to stop. You may not park within. Fill in the blank. Of a fire hydrant. A. 20 feet. B. 15 feet. C. 8 feet. C. 8 feet. You may not park within 8 feet of a fire hydrant. Only park where you will not be disruptive to traffic and where other drivers can clearly see your vehicle from every direction. You may park no closer than. Fill in the blank. Away from a railroad track. A. 50 feet. B. 40 feet. C. 25 feet. D. 10 feet. A. 50 feet. Drivers may not park within 50 feet of a railroad crossing. Only park where you will not be disruptive to traffic and where other drivers can clearly see your vehicle from every direction.
You are approaching a railroad crossing and you do not see or hear a train. You must stop. A. If a stop sign is posted. B. If a crossing gate is lowered. C. If the crossing lights are flashing. D. All of the above. Signaling your intentions before turning, changing lanes, or driving away from a curb. A. Is necessary only if other traffic is present. B. Is a good driving habit and is required by law. C. Is necessary only during the maneuver, not before. D. Is not necessary if the maneuver is done slowly. To avoid collisions with vehicles in your blind spots, you should. A. Quickly turn your head to see if your blind spot is clear before changing lanes. B. Adjust your rear view mirrors every few minutes. C. Honk your horn right before turning or changing lanes. D. None of the above. A. Quickly turn your head to see if your blind spot is clear before changing lanes. Before turning or changing lanes, turn your head and glance over your shoulder in the direction of your move to see if your blind spot is clear. Never rely on your mirrors alone. You may not park within. Fill in the blank. Of a crosswalk. A. 20 feet. B. 30 feet. C. 40 feet. D. 50 feet. A. 20 feet. Drivers may not park within 20 feet of a crosswalk at an intersection. Only park where you will not be disruptive to traffic and where other drivers can clearly see your vehicle from every direction. A solid yellow line on your side of the center line means A. Slow down. B. Pass with caution. C. Do not pass. D. Keep right on hills. C. Do not pass. A solid yellow line next to your lane means that passing is not permitted from your direction.